Cancer Singles, welcome to your mid-November singles read, Meet the Soulmate, using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot. I've already shuffled, I don't read the bottom of the deck, so ignore judgment there. It's always a judgment. Uh, this one, I say super singles, completely singles. Uh, because I like to think the runway's clear, it's kind of exciting, now anything's possible. And simply what we're asking, why it's always a positive read, is who's the right one for cancer here, who's the soulmate, the one best to do the soul work with now. Um, so we're not reading for your next sex problem, your next sex wife, your next sex husband. Uh, let's see what we got. This is in the emotional position, the King of Pentacles. Pull two cards, one for the emotional, a page of Pentacles. Where I read the moon, I see the childhood here. This is the intellectual position, two cards, the Empress. Wow. And the Two of Cups. You end up with the Page of Pentacles next to the Two of Cups. This is kind of the unconscious energy in the area of the unconscious, the emotions, where we see the moon, and in the area where we see the sun, the Empress, and then the Two of Cups with the Page of Pentacles and the Empress with the King of Pentacles. Well, this has to be someone with a very strong mind, very powerful mind, King of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles. That Page of Pentacles always has Virgo energy to me, too. It's uh, sincere kind of innocent, a very good childhood, uh, there's no problems there, but I think they have a Virgo moon, um, it's kind of well placed, and one of the things about this person that might be obvious, even if you were to meet them, or even just texting with them, you might get the feeling. Um, there's a real sincerity about them, and there's someone that just, I think they've always known their worth and their value. Um, they had a really healthy childhood, parents, I think two parents, um, that were emotionally available and responsible and um, very much encouraging in their growth and well-being. So they naturally are someone that has good self-esteem. I can tell you a story already they're not going to tell, and that's of uh, dr dramas and of uh, relationship. Um, it, with this person that comes to mind, why would they be single? Someone might have passed away, um, something out of their control. It just, I get with this person, like they would, uh, when they love, they're going to love for life. Um, and with this Empress energy. I think we've got a Taurus Sun. And the Venus energy here too. Two of Cups. Hmm. They could have a Pisces Mercury. That's possible. So they'd be someone, even if it's a male, they would be someone who's charming, uh, would be the word. I mean, if it's a female, just someone who's very beautiful, very Venusian, um, very feminine. I think the male aspect, you know, you would say handsome, but they would just be very charming, um, kind of Libra-like. But that's the Taurus energy here with the Empress. And someone very sympathetic, uh, the feeling they would give you was of sympathy, um, that they uh, 
they probably would really listen and you would just get a feeling from being with them and speaking with them um, that they may they may really understand what you're trying to tell them you know and I think there's someone that would have this gravitas about them so uh, it would just be something about them and the way they interact that would lead most people to tend to um, go deep when they're dealing with them like uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe even almost try to impress them. I don't know why I'd get like that. Um, the, the way they look, you know, it may be almost intimidating. Um, that kind of thing. Let's see. Sexual position. Eight of Wands. It's nice to get there. It's going to be Venus and Aries right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what that is. Uh, and we've got the Five of Pentacles. That's going to give us our Mars energy. I'm saying Taurus, Mars too. Taurus Sun and a Taurus Mars. I'm not feeling like they're conjunct. They're Mars and Sun. They're not within 10 degrees. So that's something too. Knight of Swords. This is their lifestyle and core values now. This is the coming at you night. Coming at you. It just looks like they're coming at you. So think about that in terms of lifestyle, core values. Um, they're going to, uh, the Empress and the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, they're going to want a certain lifestyle really. And they're going to be willing, they will provide for it. Um, but, um, the, the demands are not like negotiable but they will very much make it happen like they don't need anyone to give them permission or give them money or resources to make their uh, home you know um, feel uh, really um, abundant and almost a voluptuous feel see so we have a lot of plants a lot of nice things they would just take interior decorating very seriously even if it was a man um, they would want a home that was and felt really beautiful you know um, something like a cross between a garden and a work of art and the devil down here in the corner which can be capricorn energy here but it's coming under the knight of swords it's your soulmate i didn't say they were perfect Let's go back sexually. So Aries, Mars, and a Taurus. Uh, Aries, Venus, and a Taurus, Mars. Um, they like to chase. You know, and Venus often covers more than just your loved one, uh, your romantic interest. Um, what it's what we uh, find valuable. Uh, what we assign value to we, we desire it's our desire nature but what do we desire what's valuable to us and like they're not they will tell you this you know um, that with the Venus and Aries um, they want to uh, it's like shooting an arrow at a target you know with a, with a precision there that fire and that precision this person I think they'd be very sensual when it comes to making love very tactile slow um, the Aries Venus I don't know I think they would make love more like the Taurus Mars um, not with the fiery energy very grounded energy that they have does kind of balance out you know um, it's like all of this love that they feel it's very fiery it's very uh, you know projective it's uh, angular it's getting grounded out in um, fixed earth here and I don't know I've had this experience like maybe something to do with the way they make love is they sort of ground you out but it's in a good way um, 
like um, something very sensual that would just, you know, um, slow everything down and sort of uh, um, make, make you want to meld into them. Something with this Taurus Mars, very physical. A sensuality, too. It's very physical, along with the Empress. A lush, a feeling of lush, lushness. Um, they understand the dark side, and with this Knight of Swords over this Devil card, um, they may, in some manner, work uh, with against the darkness. I mean, it's the Knight of Swords looks very light here. The Devil looks very dark. It's coming in very sternly. I told you it's the coming at you card. This could go a lot of different ways. They could be involved in criminology of some kind. Um, or the legal justice system in some way. It could even be uh, someone that could operate uh, as a soldier or a police officer. Or they did. I just see with this a real strong theme of the light against the dark. And it, it's got to be something they would talk about. I haven't really talked about their stories. They may be an only child as well, this one, with this page of pentacles there. Or it could mean one sibling, and that's their sibling they're sort of looking at. And the two of cups, you know, they're all about relationships, so why well, say it's like a Venus energy too, even though this is a Pisces Mercury. Um, very Venusian energy, you know. Um, they're all about love. Um, also about luxury, feeling good, being in control, being abundant, um, being voluptuous. <laughs> Word that I like. <laughs> so let me know, guys. This is a predictive read. Doesn't necessarily mean someone you know right now, but they may be just coming into your life. In this mid-November time frame, I'd just like you to get back to me and let me know if this happens. So you can kind of recognize them from this, maybe, so you get to know them. Um, and um, tell me, you know, give me a like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. Please do subscribe. I appreciate it, guys.